Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, D. And this quadrilateral has lengths from A, D, A to D, which is 15 units. And same with C, D, which is uh, 15 units. And from B, C, uh, it is uh, 21 units. And the angle, opposite angles, B and B, are a pair of 90 degree angles. And a segment is drawn from BD or the diagonal BD and this diagonal uh, is the side of this uh, triangle ABD which is the blue triangle so we are required to find the area of the blue triangle welcome to Brayon Math we are asked to solve this problem we have this uh, square ABCD and inside uh, uh, a, B, C, D is, I mean, is a blue region bounded by the segments, the segment A, B, and B, C, which are the sides of the square, and this uh, A, E, which has a measure of 3 square to 17 units, and this uh, E, C, with 9 units. And uh, there is also an unknown length D, E, which is uh, a length of this uh, right triangle E, D, C, uh, with its hypotenuse to be the length D, C, which is the side of the square. And we are required to find the area of this uh, blue region. Okay, so first thing that we can do is we can actually draw a line that should be a uh, parallel to the left AB from point D. So we draw it like this. And to be parallel, so to be parallel with AB, this should be perpendicular to this segment BC because as you can see this at point B, AB, AB the segment AB is perpendicular to BC. Okay, so this can be this is uh mostly this is I mean this is uh, to be perpendicular. Okay, so next is we draw another line from point A to uh this uh, segment uh, this let's call this point as E. So to segment D E. So this should be perpendicular. So let's call this as uh, F point F. Okay, so notice that we can actually uh, shear this uh, blue triangle and put this point D to F. So we'll have this new triangle. Or if you, or if we can also shear that up to this point E. So we have this new triangle. So imagine that only we have this new triangle. So this is the base. This could be the base AB. And this is the height BE. Okay. So BE. If we find those lengths, then we are, we can be uh, able to find the area of this, uh, 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 triangle so that is the base and the height okay so since this at point f is perpendicular so this angle should be also be 90 and also this angle at e is actually also 90 because the other is 90 and if we let this angle at d this angle to be a uh, certain angle at x then then uh, this should be a uh, let's call this angle as uh, this is since this is 90 the total is 90 this should be a complement then we can label this as the complement to be y okay and if this is y then if we look at this triangle afd the right triangle so this angle here should be a uh, x to be to find for i mean to 
uh, to complete the complement for y. Okay, so if we focus on this uh, triangle AFD, that's triangle A, I mean AFD, AFD. So we have this angle, 90 degree angle, and this uh, x, and these two are consecutive, and we have here the 15 minute length, non, a non included side of these two angles. So, comparing this with triangle EDC, we have also this 90 degree angle, this X, and this non included side, which is 15. So, therefore, these two triangles are actually congruent. So, uh, EDC is congruent with the uh, uh, triangle uh, AFD. Okay, so next is uh, we find the segment AB. But before that, we need to find the segment AC. Okay, so AC. AC is simply the hypotenuse of this uh, isosceles right triangle form if we draw a line from A to C. So isosceles right triangle because at angle D, it is 90, and uh, the two sides are AD and DC, which is uh, which are actually a uh, 15 units each. Okay, so uh, segment AC uh, this will be AC is equal to the slope of uh, the Pythagorean theorem 15 square plus 15 square. So we have AC is equal to the square root of 3 times 15 square. So AC will be equal to 15 square root of 2. Okay, so next is we get this length AB. So as you can see, for the triangle ABC, which is a right triangle, so the hypotenuse is AC and one leg is 21. First is uh, the hypotenuse is 15 square root of 2. And the unknown leg is AB. Okay. So uh, we have here uh, uh, 15 square root of 2 squared as equal to uh, AB squared plus uh, 21 squared so this becomes a 15 times I mean 15 square times 2 is equal to a b square plus 21 square or you can say that a b square is equal to 15 square times 2 minus this uh, 441 so this becomes 225 times 2, uh, 225 so times 2, this becomes 450 minus 441, what is equal to AB squared. So if we take the square root of both sides, uh, we will get AB is equal to, this is actually 9. And if we get the square root of 9, so we have a, b to be 3 units. Oh, so if this a, segment a, b is 3, then this segment f, e is also 3. So we can label this uh, segment b, f as uh, small letter a. So the whole is uh, a plus 3. For DE. And if we focus on this uh, ADF, this AF should be uh, A plus 3 because it is uh, congruent with this uh, uh, triangle DED6. So this length is uh, A plus 3. So A plus 3. Okay. So 
we can actually use Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle ABA. Okay. So, and if we get the value of A plus 3, we get the height of this uh, triangle ABD. Okay. So, by using Pythagorean theorem, so uh, A plus 3. I mean on triangle ABA. Okay, so A plus 3 squared plus uh, A squared is equal to 15 squared or and continuing A squared plus uh, 6 A plus uh, 9 plus uh, A squared is equal to 225. So we have 2 A squared and we need to uh, add this uh, plus 6 A plus 9 minus 225 is equal to 0. So simplifying this two, we have a negative 216. And we copy this 2A squared plus 6A is equal to 0. And simply uh, multiply all of the terms by 1 half. So we have A squared plus 3A. Minus uh, 108 is equal to 0. Okay, so continuing, we are going to solve this uh, uh, resulting quadratic equation. So, by factoring 108, we have uh, a my a plus 12 and uh, a minus 9 is equal to. 0 because 12 times 9 is 108 and since 1 is negative so the product is negative 108 and the sum is uh, 3 the positive 3 so a plus 12 is equal to 0 for the first instance and the other is o minus 9 is equal to 0 and continuing now a is equal to negative 12 for the first instance and the uh, other is a is equal to 9. So since 1 is positive and 1 is negative, so this is an invalid value for the solution because there is no negative distance. And for this a is equal to 9, it is the solution. Okay, so valid. And a plus 3 will be equal to 12 units mm -hmm. and now for the final step for the area of triangle ABD so it is simply equal to one half times uh, this uh, BE or BF okay, right? so let's um, uh, say it is AF times uh, AB so but AF is actually uh, A plus 3 and AB is uh, 3. So A plus 3 is 12. So it's equal to 1 half times. Uh, I'm, let's say that A is 9 plus 3 times 3. So A plus 9 plus 3 is uh, 1 half times 12 times 3. So this is as a 6 times 3. So a 6 times 3 is 18. So area for triangle ABD is equal to 18 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.